Patrice here from Organic Made Great, and I'm here with one of my dear friends, Lindsay from My Mom Muse. If you're not following her on Instagram, you need to, so go <laughs> find her. But we are here today, and we are making her recipe for meatballs, and I'm so excited because you know I'm always looking for more recipes that I can make organic, and with this one especially, she's going to show us how to sneak veggies into your kids' meals so they don't know, Shh. but it gets those veggies in there when your kids won't eat veggies. So. I'm so excited. Tell me about this meatball recipe. Where did it come from? I can't wait to make it. Yeah, absolutely. So I have to thank Jessica Seinfeld for this. She wrote a great cookbook called Deceptively Delicious, and it's all about sneaking those vegetables into everyday meals so your kids won't know. Um, <laughs> we all need that. <laughs> I love this because uh, you can freeze it, you can make a double batch, you can do um, a lot of things to actually prolong this and make it many meals for the entire month. Awesome. All right, so we are going to be starting with a pound of ground turkey, yes. which we got from Whole Foods, and a pound of ground beef, which I actually picked up from Aldi's. You know how I love using Aldi's non-GMO, grass-fed, organic ground beef. So we're going to put those in our bowl, and then she's going to show you a hack for breadcrumbs. I cannot wait to see this. Stay Sweet tuned. Potatoes. So our pound of ground turkey and our pound of ground beef are in the bowl. Lindsay, explain to us how you make these breadcrumbs. Okay, so breadcrumbs are so easy. Just take some of the leftover organic bread that you've had from the week and you just put it in the food processor. It doesn't have to be dried out. You can skip the whole oven drying process. Just plop it in and literally turn it on. And I know Patrice is saying um, she likes to use the ends. Well, because my kids won't eat them. You know, it's like, what do you do with the heel, you know, from the, the loaf of bread? Because my kids won't eat it. So now I can totally make breadcrumbs out yeah, of it, which is awesome. And now we could freeze these too, like if you wanted yeah. to just do that, right? You could totally do that. And it doesn't really matter how chunky they are. Just get it, you know, to awesome. smaller pieces yeah. and you're good to go. Okay. All right. And we need half a cup for this recipe, but yeah. this is clearly more. So go ahead and throw those the rest of the breadcrumbs in the freezer and save them for something else. Yeah. And if you're down to one slice, it'll probably work. Just throw it in. Perfect. Yay. All right. So we're going to set those aside. Let's go ahead and add to Perfect. Okay. And next I'm going to show you the sweet potato hack, which is hmm. super time saver. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you just how to smash garlic really fast. Um, be very careful with this one because you have to hold the knife very strong and with the heel of your palm, just smash it a little. Take the peel off, throw it in the food processor, puree it up, just make sure it's small enough. And then afterwards, we're gonna add the sweet potato. And we're using one clove of garlic for this. Yes. All right. So, okay, so we minced our garlic and now we're actually going to do the sweet potato part. So Patrice was really amazing and went ahead and pre-baked these sweet potatoes uh, yesterday. And the great thing about baking sweet potatoes is you can bake a bunch, four or six at a time. Just wash them, poke holes with a fork, wrap them in foil, that's it. Um, and I'm gonna show you the hack to peeling these really, really fast. So you just cut the ends off and you slice it a little down the middle and then it just peels right off. Wow. Yeah, it's oh great. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. Okay, so now you're gonna cut it in half. Cut it in half again. And then cut it in half one more time if you like. Now here's where I wanna give you another tip. Now, if your kids like sweet potatoes or you like sweet potatoes, um, you can bake a bunch extra. Go ahead and put these on parchment paper on a plate or on a cookie sheet, and you can put them um, separated for three hours in the freezer. And then you can just pick them up, put them all in a Ziploc. It's so easy. You can microwave them for two minutes. You can add some cinnamon, butter, milk, do a little sweet potato mash, or you can just serve them just like this. And it's really easy. But for the meatball recipe, we're just gonna throw them in the food processor, get them pureed and add them to our meatballs. Awesome. All right, so while she is adding our pureed sweet potatoes and our garlic clove, a cup of sweet potatoes, by the way, I am putting about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and pepper. All right, that's about all you need for this. And then we are gonna start mixing it up. Yes. Now she likes to wear gloves. I just get in there. I don't like to touch raw meat. I know that sounds crazy, but I just don't. No worries. All right, so Lindsay, what size meatballs are we making for this? 
Um, I would say golf ball size is probably where I've gone. You could probably make bigger, I'm not sure. If you do make bigger, maybe DM one of us and let us know because mm -hmm. the sweet potato does make the meatball a little soft. So um, I'm not sure how big you can go, but if you do like a bigger meatball, let us know. Absolutely, yeah. and you can do anything with these, right? You could do like meatball subs, you could do, you know, obviously like with pasta. Yeah, to tell you the truth, we don't actually cook it with pasta. So while Lindsay's getting all those meatballs going, I'm gonna go ahead and start sauteing the onions because we're gonna sweat the onions and then we're gonna add the meatballs into the onions. So we're gonna start with a tablespoon of oil. You're just gonna kind of coat the bottom of your pan and then you are gonna dump a half of a cup of onions into your stock pot, your pan, whatever you're using and we will begin sweating those and cooking those down and getting ready to throw those meatballs in. So once these turn translucent, you'll know they're ready, you'll be able to smell them, they'll be all nice and sizzling, and it'll smell amazing all over the house. And then we're gonna add those meatballs, all right? Stay tuned. Okay, so now I've flipped about the majority of them. Ideally, you'd want them to have a little bit of caramelization like this one, but you know what? When you start flipping, you gotta, you gotta go for it, so. Put them all, be a little careful so they don't break apart. The bees are actually doing a great job. And the darker you go, the more likely they are to stick together. At this point, I have um, added a squirt of my fantastic imported tomato paste. Um, if you wanna take a look, you can see, you just move a meatball out of the way. You cook it for a minute so it gets a little caramelized. And then, um, you can move it around a little, it's good to go. And then we add our organic crushed tomatoes. You could do with basil, with onion, with garlic, whatever you guys like, just pour them all over. And then this fantastic, this is a little tip I picked up from an Italian friend when I lived in Luxembourg. Um, this is just basically crushed pureed tomatoes and you add it in and it just gives it a really, really nice flavor because these are specific tomatoes that they use in Italy for pasta sauce. So once you add this, you just let it sit. You can put a lid on it for about 45 minutes, turn the heat down, and when it's all done, you're good to go. You can eat it for dinner, or I'm gonna show you a great tip on how to freeze it, and you can use it all month long. Okay, so now we have um, both, both batches going at the same time. Um, these we've already added the pasta sauce and it smells so good. Um, but I did want to show you a quick tip. If you want to thin it out, we have a little chicken broth. You can add chicken broth to it to just help thin it out. And if you want to add your salt and pepper at this point, go for it. I'd probably add a good hefty pinch around and just let it set. I wouldn't stir it too much and you don't want to disrupt the meatballs. And um, we're going to let it set for a few more minutes. But again, the total cook time on this is about 45 minutes. So. Cannot wait. So I tasted this after 45 minutes and it does taste delicious, but I'm gonna let it cook just a little bit longer. Um, you can do the same. If you like it at 45 minutes, great. If not, um, the longer it cooks, the more kind of robust and um, I don't know, just hearty the, the pasta sauce is gonna get. So up to you. For now, if you are done, just turn the heat off, let it sit maybe 30 minutes, cool off. You can do the frozen meatballs, um, or of course, if you're just making this for dinner, go ahead and serve it up over some great organic pasta, and um, you're ready to go. So thanks for joining us. Okay, so this is probably the most helpful tip, I think, of the day. It's um, freezing these. Uh, when you freeze them, you don't get as much sauce because you don't want the meatballs to clump together. However, um, you put them three inches apart, or this is about an inch, whatever, as long as they don't touch, put them in the freezer for three hours, pull them out, you can add sauce, you can put them, um, just lay a Ziploc down, just lay them flat, put the sauce over it, and put them in the freezer and it makes a fantastic last minute meal. Um, or I like to do this for my kids. I won't even add the sauce. I'll just put them in a Ziploc and grab two meatballs for each kid at the end of the day, microwave it for a few minutes and 
You can add sauce or not. My kids will eat them either way and it's just a time saver. So enjoy and I hope you get a lot of use out of that freezer tip because it can be used for anything. They're done. You guys, they're done. I cannot wait to try one of these. Okay, check this out. Zoom in close. Look at how amazing this looks. You guys, your kids are never going to know there's sweet potatoes in these. Check this out. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to trick my kids. <laughs> All right, let's taste this. Mmm. OMG. Mmm. 